What happens when you try to drink from the world's longest straw? So let me suck it up. Well, if it's longer than 33 feet, which figures out to atmospheric pressure, you're not going to be able to drink out of it. <laughs> as far as I can, I'll put a clamp on it and we'll see how high we got. Sure. Okay. The theoretical limit is around 34 feet. Okay. That's when the water will boil and you can't suck up any more water into the tube. Yeah, entirely based off of atmospheric pressure. Ow. Dude. Okay, so this is really hard. My mouth must be really sore right now. So I got up 14 feet. <laughs> I still had a long ways to go. Uh, so that boiling he's referring to is called cavitation. That's something you need to be concerned about when designing any sort of pumping system. Basically, those bubbles collapse and can cause a pressure transient. Right up there. Okay, now I have a hook to my vacuum pump. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay. Look at it coming up. Is that, is that it, the 33 feet? The it's trying feet. so hard to get up there. So you can see <laughs> yeah. that this didn't work very well. No matter how hard we were sucking on it, it just kept boiling the water. And once you boil the water, you just get water vapor. So it can't actually suck up the liquid water. It's one of many reasons why reactor coolant systems are pressurized. 